on Black Panther. Hey. Okay, so I reboot my computer. I um, rebooted my computer. I, uh, which I, I rebooted my modem and my router. And I changed it to 720p. And I changed it back down to, to my limit, 6,000. And I changed the NVEC settings up a bit. So we will see how it fares. It's not going to look as good, unfortunately. Um, the best way to stream nowadays is with a fucking powerful ass CPU on a second computer. But what do you think I have? Tens of thousands of dollars? I don't. So let's get going. Let's play some more Cyberpunk. I'm Black Panther. If you're just joining us, we had just finished our final uh, gig for the time being. Oh, it's got a patch. What's this? 2.1.3, the thick and brutal update. I need to play this game. This game looks sick. What is Elderborn? Oh, I have it? What the hell? Oh, that shit looks sick. All right. You were used a laptop to stream with two PCs when you were playing Alex, right? I tried that once. It, I, I don't have the, the, the proper equipment for it. You need a lot of capture stuff. Like capture cards and junk. Not for me. All right. Let's back at it. Boop. Boop. So how's everybody out there doing? Everybody having a good day? How's your day's been? I hope your day's going okay. Trying on my costume as we speak. I'm having a great day. Yamcube underscore. That's just great. It's good to hear. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kakovsky, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Hello, Ziggy. All right. Cool. So, like I said before, these are done. These are absolutely done. They're done. So now what we're gonna do for a moment, purchase some cars. The Mitsutaji Shion. It's up here. There, we're doing 100%, so we need all the achievements, and one of the achievements is to buy all the cars. So we're gonna buy all the cars. And the Mitsutazi Shion, good car. It's up here. One more floor. Um, and we're just going to do a combination of main quests and side quest content. Complete it all out. What the fuck? Since when has that been possible? Alright. We own this car now. Alright, so that one's bought. I know it's 720p, uh, but we're trying to get away from um, artifacting. Good luck. I'm Black Panther. Um, how does the stream look? Looks good. If you could check your video stats, what, what are the stats looking like? Before we're buying this car, I never realized you can go up here. I didn't know you can go up here until right this very moment. Personally, I'd like to see higher res. Yeah, me too. It's 
buy another car. I only have $72,000 though, so... It's gotta be a cheap one. Let's buy that one. There's only so much you can do with a 6,000 kilo kilobit bitrate without absolutely killing your computer. I'd rather see more frames. At 720p, we could probably afford 60 FPS, but the problem with that is it's really, really artifacty. You know? I don't know. But yeah, yeah, you people should, we should. There's a lot I need to do. But there's a lot of money that needs Please to be spent to make it look the best it can. Jlids32, thank you very much for the follow. If you're new to this channel, please follow. If you have Twitch Prime, please consider using it. It is a free way of supporting me if you have access to it. However, you don't necessarily need to use Twitch Prime on me. You can use it on anybody. The best middle ground is 900p 50 FPS. Hmm, I haven't thought about doing 50 FPS. How does YouTube deal with a 50 FPS video? It just says 50. Mm, not for cyberpunk, but maybe something else. I'll think about it. There's a lot that needs to be done. Synthetic meat, you're in for a treat. You can actually do any frame rate between 45 and 60? Really? A lot of live stuff is filmed at 50. I knew that. Hey guys. You see, the long play that I'm going to be uploading of this is going to be in 30. So I'm just going to stream in 30 and, and try and get as much, you know, quad, like, like limited artifacting as I can. You know what I mean? Have you thought about streaming on YouTube? I have. I don't really like the service. There's a lot that I feel like needs to be improved for that to be a viable option. Nice to love. Hello. NCPD. Drop your weapon and come out. Man, fuck you. We're grinding, ladies and gentlemen. We're grinding.
Our goal right now is to try and buy all the cars. Um, the best way to go about doing that is main quest, side quest content. That makes a lot of money. Um, but right now, you know, I'm pretty much okay with where I'm at cyberware-wise. I will want to try and explore what I can get right now, now that I'm level 50. Um... And when we max out all the skill points that we can get, uh, we're gonna re-roll the skill points, like we're gonna pay to do the skill points over again, and see how that goes. You know. But right now I'm just looking for enemies that I can kill without the NCPD being called on me. Um, so that I can level up my assault skill. Because I can't level up past 50 right now. I, you just can't. The expansions will raise the level limit. And then of course New Game Plus will allow you to be higher than whatever. You know? But this is like... If I was planning from the beginning... I would purposely be picking, you know, the skills that grant skill points as much as you can. Um, the fact that you can't respect abilities kind of does punish new players that don't know what they're getting into. Like, I knew what I was building because I've played the game so much, right? So combining grenades with cold blood and... What the hell is this? Oh, they're, they're, they're getting water. That's interesting. They're getting water from a leaky pipe and collecting it so that they have drinkable water. That's really cool. I'm just, I'm running around the world killing any uh, yellow arrowed enemies that are on the map, which can be killed for experience points and no negative effect. And trying to pick up all the junk I can find on the grounds, you know, so that I can sell it all um, at drop points. And since I can't upgrade my equipment any further than where I'm at right now, <clears throat> there's really no reason for me to continue to invest in upgrades uh, and scrap and stuff, and I should just be selling everything, you know what I mean? Now, I, I will say that I really should have my, um, why did I, no, I don't want to use a fucking pipe. I should be using the apartment buff, which uh, allows me to gain more experience for every action I take, but... Amount of ammo. The poison finisher off. Have you heard anything about Cyberpunk running better on Steam OS? It does not. It runs a little worse, but what can you expect? Stumbled on a hidden gem here. It's cool. I should be reading through all those s s shards soon, because some of them actually do give you a quest. It's insane for what it is. Yes, you're correct. Hold on. We're going for a rifle level up, so... Right. 
Oh, this is a cyber psycho area. I've been here. Can any of these be opened? Not on this end, there's a... Tyler, your presence is scaring the cars. I know, right? There's a skill check over here. Oh, for a camera. Okay, that increases engineering. Do you think CDPR is working on getting verified for Steam Deck? Not really. I think they have other things to be concerned about right now. Like, getting the expansion out, continuing to fix the bugs that exist, all that kind of stuff, you know. Witcher 3 is verified, but, like, you know, how much did you actually have to do? Alright. I own this one now. Let's check out this clothing store real quick. Oh, so this is a good time for you, then? Yeah. Hola. Hello. Been thinking about a new jacket. What do you recommend? What's it matter? Just pick something. Do you have anything worth my time? Maybe, yeah. This jacket. That's the same, but this worn punk coat. Yeah. I'll get that. Alright. And then this, that, that. Yep. It's fucking sick. Yeah. But yeah, Cyberpunk running on a handheld is insane. Hey, can't you see me? Hi, guys. Nice broom. Oh, is there a... There are mines. Okay. Well, I tried. I hate this item. This was a an NCPD side hustle or a gig or something. I've been here. The crime activity, that's right. Elton John Blue Moves, $122. They're asking $122 for an Elton John album. They're drunk. I 
Isn't this a vendor location? No, it's that gig. Right. been here. Have you, would you actually say Cyberpunk has improved since release with, without mods? Oh, significantly. Night and day. Yes. Yes, I would say that. Game balance still needs some work, which is what this whole livestream series is intending on proving, but... Generally speaking, yeah, it's... yes. Since 1.3, how much? A lot. I don't know how to... Why do you finish them off when they're down? You get extra experience points for it. I don't think I've been all the way down here. What's down here? Damn, I had no idea. Well, now you do. Cruelty pays? Yes, it does. You also get extra ninjutsu experience if you dump dead bodies and body locations and body dumps. Yeah. Which is why you'll see me do that a lot. And I should be doing that more often. Because we're trying to get as many perk points as we can. Another way to snake out some perk points. They need to scale difficulty to match the level of your character better. I uh, agree. This game is... We're, we're playing on the hardest difficulty skill, and aside from just a few quests, this game is fucking insanely easy. <laughs> this place still has enemies in it. This is a gig location from, like, early in the game that I must have gone through without alerting anybody. Well, I'm back. Hello. All right, you open the door from over here or something. Oh, they locked the doors of the quest location. You can only just come in here. But all the enemies are coming out. <laughs> so look, he's already dead. Here's a body dump. I'll dump them, and then I'll get ninjutsu points. See? Those crates can hold two bodies, dumpsters can hold eight, refrigerators can hold one. You're not always going to find enough body dumps for all the bodies uh, in a location. Uh, but it's still very much worth your time to look around. So, like, there's a location over there. And there's a body right here. So we're just gonna... Little bunny hops. Which, if it's as soon as you land on the ground, you will gain some speed. And if you can land on a downward-facing slope... You'll get some extra speed. You're gonna get a lot of speed if you know what you're doing. I'm not that good. But yeah, just exploring the world is very beneficial to character growth. In fact, I've been meaning to do this anyway, so give me a second. Let me find the book.
So here's the thing. I own the collector's edition guide for Cyberpunk. But I have no idea where it is. Yeah, it's somewhere in here. So here's the normal guide, which I tore a bunch of pages out of for a video so that I could scan them. But what I'm interested in is the hidden gems stuff. Cyber Psychos gigs. I tore a bunch of pages out of here uh, because... I needed to scan it because there's a bunch of cut content in here. Map locations and stuff, you know. Yeah, here are the hidden gems. So hidden gems are, lo are, are listed along the side, the NCPD side hustles. And what I'm interested in are hidden gems that give you skill shards. Oh, and it doesn't tell me. All right, well, um, also since we're streaming uh, Fallout New Vegas, here's my Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition guide, which is really nice. And I'm going to have to look into crafting and stuff in that, so. Uh, I'm sure there's an online map somewhere. Hold on. Cyberpunk 2077 Interactive Map. right here so in order to get all the hidden gems I need the premium upgrade for this interactive map but I own the guide so I probably threw out the, the code Oh well, I'm sure there's a free alternative. Yep. Whatever this is, shit. This looks sick. Hmm. Oh, I should show you. Cyberpunk news. PureCyberpunk.com. What software or resources would you recommend to getting into data mining? That's a good question. I don't know. Bosses. There are only four bosses in the game. Vehicles. Free legendary clothing. Wow, look at that. Iconic weapons. Netrunner weapons, gangs, make buildings. Does it not just say hidden gems? There's a lot of interactive maps. Hot damn. Oh, this is cool. The Cyberpunk Red interactive map? Fuck. That's cool. Alright, hold on.
The hidden gems aren't on aren't, aren't the thing. Ugh. Oh, wow. That's a cool website, though. Hmm. I wonder. There's a, uh... There's a website, this Map Genie website, that I really like. I wonder... If they have... A cyberpunk map. I don't think they do. A lot of good maps here. This is a great website. Hmm. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to explore then. When it comes to data mining cyberpunk, if that's what you're talking about, I'm still learning. There's still a lot of stuff I need to know. It's mostly just woven kit, you know, that's your friend. Is there any possibility of them releasing Red Kit like they did with The Witcher 2? There's a possibility, yeah. They hired modders, so we'll see where that goes. Hey, move your assets! They're zeroing up! Oh, they're absolutely not giving up on the game. No. They're working hard. There's a lot of stuff they're working on right now. Yeah, this is an old, uh, quest location that I guess has respawning enemies, which is cool. I guess this whole game has respawning enemies, huh? Which I guess is okay, so you can... I've not played Elden Ring. However, I'm not a big FromSoft guy. That's full. Those must respawn some of the loot. Because I always clear out areas of loot, and these areas have more loot. Hello. Okay, that was pointless, thank you. Maybe just junk loot at respawns? Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> if he wasn't dead before, he's fucking dead now. How does FromSoft get away with releasing the same game every time? How does Nintendo get away with releasing the same game every time? It's the same question. Can I dump this torso and get experience points? I can? Oh, you spoil me, game.
How does Bethesda get away with releasing the same game every time? Exactly. <laughs> I hate how difficult it is to get those. I guess there's somebody on the roof I need to grab. Yeah, fuck it. I'm leaving. You guys bore me. Let me throw. Let me throw. Cool little area. I know they do a great job of hiding loot. They need to hide more loot. More loot. We need more loot. More interesting stuff to find. Also, something to note. Storage lockers and storage containers like that can almost... There's always like one or two that can be opened. Can you see my build? Yep. Yeah. If anybody knows of skill point shards that are out in the world, please let me know where I can find them. I know there are probably a lot, but I'm trying to max out this character as far as the game will legally allow me to do without cheating or modding. Yeah, see, there's so many of these. You just have to scan them and look for one that has a door that shines. That means you can interact with it and then open it. You got most of them? Are you sure? I know I got all the NCPD side hustles, but I did not get anywhere near all the hidden gems. There's an interactive map? No, I know there is, but I need to pay for premium because I lost- I didn't keep the code that the damn thing came with. See, this is a skill check. That's annoying. I thought they, there were some in, hidden with hidden gems. I guess I'm wrong. What's this location? Oh, wait. Is this just the same damn place I was at? <laughs> okay. A few others are during side missions and main missions. Alright, let's find the next car we're going for. 71,000, I don't have enough. 58,000, I don't have enough. 155,000, 92. Uh, there's probably a few out in the Badlands that I can afford. No, all right. Main job time. Holy shit. My God. This is what happens when you don't do any side missions or main missions until you're level 50. Whew. Okay. All right, let's just go for the nearest side job and see what happens. I'm sorry that I scan all the time, but it's the best way to check for loot. I know that's probably annoying, because it even annoys me sometimes, but it is the best way to search for loot. Uh, I don't know. I wish it was just a bit better of a system with the markers. I don't know. I need to get over there. There's no way in hell I'm jumping up that wall. I'm just going in circles. How many cars do I own? A few. Let's turn the controller on. You can't sprint while scanning. Oh, that is annoying, huh? Which car you want to drive? We got an Apollo, a Colby, a Delamain, a Galena, a Hella, the Arch, the Mackinac, Quartz, a Xion, and a 66. Which one you want? Which one are we driving?
First person to say was Apollo. We're driving. Nah, okay. Apollo, I guess. That's fine. Wasn't really feeling a bike, but hey. Deal's a deal. It's this one. Yeah. This dog, it is not mine. None of this me. Cold, dead metal. All of it. What? What have I done to deserve this? To fall victim to Hinsa. It itches. Should it itch? Why do I feel anything? It, it is nothing but I'm feeling metal. Calm down. <sighs> Forget your own soul. You must save his. Help! Someone please help me! Anyone! What happened? Your implants, they look half done. Done or not done? It is of no importance. A beaker does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet... They knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you. Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Makes no sense. We go and do something like this. And why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked... more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? Are you still with him? Yes. I was first. Then, they were trying to decide how... how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. What's in it for me? I don't work for free, you know. I cannot offer anything more than my gratitude. Just this once. Please, make an exception. The universe shall compensate you. Chrome-sucking psychos. It won't be easy. Maelstrom never goes down the easy route. The fucking clowns. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way. Your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Wish you'd drop dead. So let's go find him. First of all, active camo, obviously. Second of all, let's read the quest description. Quest descriptions are always written in Johnny's perspective. 
So this is Johnny speaking. You know, you could deal with our problems first instead of helping every gonk that comes your way. But, well, since you're so hell-bent on saving that monk in distress, delta your ass over the warehouse. Maybe you can still save him before they slice him. Kind of curious how you'll do it, actually. Gonna go all three-hugging pacifist, or you're just gonna get the job done? So Maelstrom's got a monk. Uh, that's part of the religion that keeps themselves away from body modification. And they are purposely putting them through body modification just you know, to spite their beliefs. Just to be an asshole. So, you know, I'm not a religious person, but I would never do that. You know what I mean? Whose perspective are they in before you meet Johnny? Your own. They're from Jackie's perspective in the prologue, are they not? Oh, is it Jackie's perspective? I didn't know. Alright, we're gonna find an alternate way in. I think it's up here. I remember doing this quest uh, last year and finding an air duct I could get into. You should always read in this game. This game's got crazy good writing for this kind of stuff. Alright. Yeah, I played the my well, my second playthrough was with a controller. It's super it's super good with a controller. I wouldn't recommend very hard, but it works with a controller. So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. My god, just You're not cool enough and they heard you walking. What percentage of CDPR have their two years scam experience? <laughs> I don't know. I know that they need to take a, a, a two year scam class to work at CDPR, like he's, you know, like that one guy said. Ayano told me that they took the, the two year scam class early on. Tyler, good morning, uh, Looney Naughty. How you doing? How come you never use ping? Because I don't have a cyber deck. I have the slow time ability. Oh, 
Oh, I gotta defeat all of them. Quickest way to active camo? I really wouldn't know what to tell you. Yeah, you buy it. Anyone here tried the multilingual mod? No, but I know what you're talking about. You're gonna do a playthrough soon? Hell yeah. Have you not played this game before? Do not do this! Invitations against my police! Please! I do not want them! Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Mm. Cyber psychos. A lot of them. One... One of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Was walking by, caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Nah. The truth, your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful Yo. nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It's not up to us. To judge what they deserve. Uh, yeah, sure. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. Hello, young Sinatra. How you doing? How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Mm. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. Yeah, so I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous path. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Killing isn't the solution to everything. If you want to change the world, there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome fucks, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... <laughs> if they had enough to spare on monks, then surely they don't need all of it. All right, so that one's done. So let's leave. So I got a new dope 
gun here. I wonder if I can upgrade it. I can. Oh, craft it to legendary first. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's an SMG. It's a power gun. You got nibbles yet? Yeah, I did that a while ago. All right. Next closest side job is beat on the brat. Let's do it. Saves on resources since once you craft something, it's always the level your character is at. Oh, I see what you mean. Dude's just like, I'm out. Wow, that gun is stupid. Yeah, isn't it? By the way, that SMG has a unique thing about it that increases the burn chance with each shot fired. Oh, really? It's kind of neat. I'm dead. One of the best SMGs in the game, in my opinion. Well, I get to try and craft it again. So. There it is. So craft it to legendary first. Then go to upgrade. Okay, and then craft some crunch. There's Outer World 2 leaks already. Yeah, for Rooney Dooney, there is. That's actually pretty good. And not far off from this one. I could probably get it higher, too, if I bought a, a muzzle brake. Who do you think has what I need? Wilson, maybe? The only place you can buy the new muzzles is at Wilson's? Okay.
Which is a shame because sometimes he doesn't have any. He's got one of those new ones. These are the new ones, yeah. Those are weird. What do we got? Handgun. Assault rifle. It's not the one I want. No, oh, these are the ricochet based ones. There's one that just straight up increases damage, right? skip time. I'll buy these new scopes though. And this is one of those new submachine guns, so I'll buy that. A happy here. new gun owner, I hope. Yeah, we gotta... Handgun... Handgun, handgun, handgun. Ugh, okay. There it is. Increases damage by 17%. Ah! It's Shit! It's higher. We made it higher. Cool. And I also got that new guillotine. This one. I wonder how high I can make this damage, because I do want to try and use the new weapon. Yeah, I thought skip time was always there. I mean, they have it, but it's a rare and not an epic, so... Yeah, they changed how it looks. But, that's it. It just looks fancy now. Sort by quality. Nope. Is there such thing as a legendary muzzle break? Does that exist? Ugh. Well, you have one legendary muzzle, so yes, it has to. Wait, what do you mean?
just a different muzzle, one that has your crit chance. Oh. So it's not the damage one, it's the it's the ricochet one that's the only one that's legendary. So I'm looking for a purple and not an orange or a gold or whatever. No. Nope. I mean, you might find one still. Okay. Okay, well, there's that one. That's what I wanted. Wait a minute. It let me put legendary mods on this weapon. Why did it let me do that? Why did it let me do that? Dang, I got it up to a thousand. Pretty cool. One thirty two, pretty cool. But I am curious if you know they sell the, the spec to let me upgrade it. My mouse has ceased to work. I think the game crashed. Never mind. You can put higher quality mods on lower quality clothes, though. You can? I thought they changed that. Whoa. The fuck gun is this? What is this? I've never seen this gun before. What is this? What is this gun? What gun is that? Hi, Boo Bear. I've tried so hard for so long. Yeah? This one's so much harder. Why? Not because it's aim is not out. Oh. You used it already? It's one of the new weapons. It's a cool looking gun. Alright, did you send it to me? Oh. I'm good. Oh, you're not done? Oh. Hey, it's that thumbnail artist I've heard about. Yes, it is. Did you show him the new one? No, not yet. Show him it. I don't want to. I want it to be a surprise. Tell my friend. Huh? Tell my friend. She made it so much better. It's really nice. I'm not even kidding. Well. Okay, bye. Where are you going? I don't know. I love you. I think we can end the stream now. I got really deep one. Well, I'm really hungry. Oh, right. I kind of wanted to hang out. Watch something and eat. No? I've already used this? Ugh. I do not remember using this. So this is that, this is this new gun. This is the Maelstrom one. I don't remember using this. At the beginning of the playthrough, I used this. You used it? Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, I pushed this up as far as it'll go. I pushed this up as far as it'll go, so...
Yeah, probably it's just the recolor. Yeah, look at that. It's coming together. I'm going to have all of them one day. I have Smart Link equipped, so it's dis ricochets disabled on power weapons. Right. Alright, well... I think this is a good place to end for right now. We'll probably stream more later today, but I want to hang out with Electra, so. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's find someone to raid. Let's see who be live. Probably Ayano. Yep, Ayano is live. However, we do raid Ayano all the time, so <laughs> let's see if someone else is streaming. Um, let's raid Iano. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the fun stream. Hey, no problem. We'll be streaming a little bit more later. But uh, peace and air grease, everybody. Make sure to tell Iano uh, to. Take a break from Destiny. Bye, everybody.